know how to use them correctly, just like in the English language. Okay, we're gonna start off with um, these four. We have la when we're talking about something singular and it's feminine. Las is for plural and feminine. On the other side, we have the masculine, which would be el for singular. Los is for plural and masculine. How do they work? It says, notice how the articles have the same genre as the noun or gender. If the word ends in a, you should use la. If it is plural, you should use las. So it's very simple. And if we go up to the top and check the example, it's la familia, las familias. So la is one singular, las familias is plural, but it's also a feminine word. We also have la fiesta or las fiestas, depending what, how you want to use it. If you're talking about something that is singular and specific, you're going to use la. If it's plural and specific, then you use las. We also have on the other side, masculine, el extranjero. You're talking about one foreigner, so an extranjero is a, um, a masculine word, so you have to use el. In the other, you have los extranjeros, which is plural, but the word is also masculine. So all you do is add S to the end, and there it goes. We have el amigo, los amigos. So the same. If you notice that a word ends in O, then automatically you will have to put L. If you want to put the word in plural, then you just add los, and then you put S at the end of the word. Remember, in all the languages, there are exceptions. So we're going to check the following ex exceptions that you have to bear in mind at all times. They're very important because I think um, in every language, there's always something that is different. No, There's always some exception, and the same thing happens in English. So we're going to see in this case what the exceptions would be. Okay. Generally, the words that end in the below list have exceptions. So words ending in L, O, N, E, R, I, U, S, there are exceptions. For example, el árbol. In this case, we're actually taking into consideration two exceptions. The word starts with um, a vowel, A, but it also ends in L. So in this case, you wouldn't be able to use la because then you would have la árbol. So you cannot have two vowels, in this case, the same vowel right beside each other. So the correct would be to put L, so you, you don't have the double A together, so you get el árbol. The other, um, el manantial, el caballo, el camión, el chocolate, el coche, el collar, el tractor, el colibri, el espíritu. And at the bottom, I'm giving you the translation so you know what each word means. So, on the other side, we have words ending in A, D, Sion, or Zion. And examples are la cruz. Cruz is like saying the cross. So, la cruz. La paz, la caridad, la salud, la bondad, la canción, la jarra, la prisión, la televisión. And at the bottom, you can also find the, the translation, what they mean in English, show to help you out. So it's very important when you're speaking or when you're using the articles to keep in mind um, these exceptions. So once you notice that a word ends in one of these letters, then you would automatically have to use L, or on the contrary, you would have to use LA, okay? Okay, this is what I mentioned at the beginning, that 25% of the language is made up of articles, so they're very important, and we have to learn them at some point. Okay, so, to see if we understood or we remembered um, what previously, uh, was given, we're going to complete this chart. So it says complete the following chart by putting the correct word in the corresponding column. So we have L, singular, masculine, la, singular, feminine, los, plural, masculine, las, plural, feminine, okay? So we have these words. We have elefante, which is elephant, palomas, they're like doves, muñeca is like a doll, Televisión, television, bicicleta is bicycle, blusas is a blouse, 
cuadernos, books or writing books that you use at school. Amigo is a friend. Florero is like the vase that you put the flowers. Cigarros is cigarettes. Niñas, they're girls. Vecino, 